here we are, and we're on the Possum Loop Trail on the outside of the bypass. Okay, so we're dropping down this ravine, and we've come across this drift mine feature associated with the Red Gap Mine, Hammond's Red Gap Mine. We're going to see more of it later. But here you can see they were kind of working along the trench line and doing surface extraction of probably iron ore, possibly brownstone. This does, in fact, look a little bit more like iron ore to me. And maybe we can see this up close and personal. And you can see the sand grains in the iron ore. And you might even be able to see the ooids that the iron has accreted around that was made this such good stuff, even though it doesn't have a high metallic content. They were real happy with this ore in 1910 when Sloss's fern uh, mine down in Bessemer flooded. They didn't hesitate to move all their production requirements up here to Ruffner for this ore, even though it wasn't as preferable as the Bessemer ores were. Anyway, this operation and several others, including the Howard mines over there, Gill Reef and Hiawatha over there, were on non sloss mines not owned by Sloss. So Sloss wasn't the only operator out here.